current state of the game, right, at an all-time high as far as balance goes. So I am also super stoked to kind of take a look here. And let's see who we're jumping in with. Oh, <laughs> These guys, you know exactly who we're looking at here. We're looking at E11 Stompy. Guys, just look in that bottom center of your screen. Look at the elimination counter already. 17 Elims on Stompy and 5 on Shinken. What a start to this game. This is only that fifth circle, that half in, half out, and they're already racking up the eliminations. With uh, 15, and it, it's still going. It, it's that, That's a knock right there. Yeah. And look that, at this. That's look. The when you have... <laughs> 18 eliminations, you know the loadout is gonna be stacked. He's got the legendary assault rifle, the legendary heavy sniper. Over 20 eliminations, that's actually nasty. And look at that, just go ahead, take the wall, make the quick edit, no hesitation there. That's another one for him. Oh my goodness. And this is a duo that we've seen oh, no. week after week, just destroy everything, he's gonna get Oh, that was his trap. So that was his even, trap. It didn't even damage him. So he's just making a fool of a lot of players right now. 20 eliminations and still, still 25 up. So as Stompy's just putting pressure down, showcasing why the, the heavy sniper has just been the favorite for so long. <laughs> and there's no escaping this. Shinken and Stompy coming from both sides on this duo. There's nowhere they can go. And they're getting both shots on both the players at the same time. Really good play there. Really good positioning from Stompy and Shinken so far in this one. Up for the high ground they go. It looks like they want to alpha up for this positioning right here. Landing on some enemy builds. Now looking to catch at this next elimination. Look, he is on the hunt. He yeah. doesn't even wait for his oh, teammate. What are you guys doing? Your sides are not blocked. Stop, he's gonna take advantage of that and take out D2R. But look, look how split they are, Monster. All the way, Shinken, he's so far away. And they're getting all the eliminations because of it. They have so many opportunities. That's right, Sweat just got taken right out the lobby there. There goes D2R, who he saw there, got caught off guard, took a 100 to the face. And, and Stompy, dude, this is pure confidence here. As he is not even near his teammate, he doesn't even care because he knows he's making it to New York. He's probably gonna re-qualify again here as he is just <laughs> dominating at this point. That's that's fearlessness. You think the, uh, him being already qualified for finals? Testing their strategies, testing what is going to work. And of course, again, putting on a show for us too because it's not stopping. Another one goes down and another one probably here. And they're so split, Monster. Again, they just continuously are not even next to each other, but they're still playing together, even with the distance. Yeah, and I, and I know we were highlighting a lot of Stompy, but look, Tachink is now in double digit range as well because he just pelted. Now boxing these players up, it looks like it's a duo against Shinken. Can he clutch up? That's the question. Yes, maybe. Just keeping them down below. They're staying so close together, not getting any That's opportunities. Huge. And he does pick one up, so it's now a 1v1. The Storm's going to take him out. And he edits right in front of him. Shinken now. All he has to do is go up on the high ground. He wins the game, but you know he wants this elimination too. Starting to block him out a little bit. Going up on the high ground. Is keeping he going to be able it. to find it? And he's just keeping it absolutely textbook, right? Just not even panicking. Goes for that positioning, and there it is. Takes out Finn. It's not every day you see a solo <laughs> at the end clutch up against competitive players in a duo setting. You know what? But they, they instilled fear in that lobby. <laughs> every game in that you physically can within that time constraint. Uh, and that, that's a part of the equation, too. Time management. And here it is. Ned Sakir getting a nice little knock, taking someone straight out the air. Looks like... Him and Lithium are uh, off to a good start here with five eliminations as a duo. Yeah. Yep, and nice little management of the positioning there. Goes up and over the mountain. Horde's now got another player in his sights here. That guy was on shadow. He managed to catch him just as he was going through. And that's another box dive there. Venox goes down. Out through the storm. Ooh. 102. Huge connect right there, Bala. That was huge. And now he has to get up this mountain right now. You can immediately see that he realizes that and builds right back into the storm because he knows he doesn't want to get boxed out. And now there's Find his right teammate. with Koo. And Yan's in the zone right now, and I think there's two players left for them to find. So immediately pressuring the guy in the zone, Yan still. That's all you have to do. You just got to work together, slowly working their way down these layers. You don't want to, you know, over hop Man. in, give up any good positioning. And there it is. Now the builds are coming out. Jeezer has been spotted here by this duo. They're now splitting up, focusing their attention to the four walls. Whoa, Koo actually himself. just got hit. Yeah. And now they do know where he is. They're gonna try to pinch him from both sides and Horde does find the top. Oh, it's his edit. I'm, I've gotta give props here to Jeezer. He's gotten, he's gotten away from them for so long, but there Koo and Horde are gonna pick it up. Especially now that when you use a Shadow Bomb, players realize you can save a boatload of mats when you're uh, going for high grounds over the natural terrains especially. But we, we talk about uh, new and recent items yeah. introduced. The bow is putting in crazy work here as he is getting so many knocks here, Tux. 
Tux and Blood X up here on high ground, this position monster. And all that time we've been watching him, he's only spent a couple now, choosing to spend a little bit here. And every time he spots a player, he's recognizing where he is. The heavy snap goes in. Is he going to be able to finish the player? So close. That combat shotgun in close, tight quarters is very difficult to use because it's not like the pup. You don't have the opportunity to one-shot somebody. Yeah, you also don't have the wide crosshair either, making it a lot more skill-based thing to land your shots with the combat. Nice knock right there, though. That's going to be huge for him. That's going to practically just decimate that duel right there. It's a 1v1 in the low ground now. Seglem going against Finn here. And, and they, they practically got a free dub right here. Zaito and Shika, who have the high ground. Yeah, those are the players with that flip knock before. They did take out Tux and Blood X just down below them. And now they take out Segman. And it's going to be a full-on spray battle onto Finn. Good victory royale there. And eight E limbs. Uh, relevant, especially when players realize I don't have to pull it until like I'm right before I touch the floor, right? Yeah. Whereas when it first came out, people were like gliding with it a little too long. They realized, okay, that's not gonna work. So it fell out of the scene. Um, but I, I wanna say uh, like like the South Korean region probably brought it out first, the, the redeploys. I saw those guys rocking with it um, as early as the AM that they had. <laughs> Notice they, they did spot the threat immediately though. Uh, heard that reload. Oh, you. someone yeah. drops in his box. It's going to be Sudor going down. They're going to immediately claim that loot. You saw Ryu went for the loot and Untils blocked. But now it's time to put some pressure upwards as they are oh. fighting against the Stormbear. Nice little reverse edit, but someone lands behind them. Can he land a shot? He does connect right away with the combat AR follow-up. It was very nicely done. He does pay the price, yes. though. Heavy storm damage there. Doesn't matter. Sute goes down to the RPG. Nice find there with the RPG right on the cone, right as Sutai got really close to it. And now another player's dropping on on top of him. This is the issue with fighting on for that high ground this early. Oh. So many players go for it, and then they all kind of dis... They, they just drop it. They say, oh, I don't want high ground anymore, and they're all going to drop on. And DJ is going to try to take advantage of that, immediately finding himself an angle with the stairs there. Shoot down below. It's actually Larry. He's going to pick up Ryu. They're all fighting each other. But no, DJ falls all the way down below. He's going to need to get right back up to D-Will. Otherwise, it's going to be a tough climb to fight here. And now they're going to pressure Larry's this guy. Got no he's help. going for fights, though. He's actually going for it. No, he's going to take it out. Now, D-Will and DJ are actually in the situation where they need to go for this little lagoon dive. He actually has a fighting chance here with a rocket. Oh, Goes no. underneath. Nearly catches him off guard right there. What a wonderful uh, end game there for Larry. Kind of. But Stompy and Chicken took it to a completely different degree, right? They split, just like you talked yep. about. And I, I really see that as the only duo who's really been doing that recently, but with their success. Okay. And th this is why I love the combat. <laughs> it was so underrated early on. People talk, called me crazy at the fact that you're able to pelt players out of the sky. That's for sure. Now, you can definitely see that people are starting to realize, hey, this thing is good because every single player you've got is using it. Now, Thomas and Bast had such a good performance last week. I believe they were in the top 15. He's going to use that grenade Ooh. launcher. He's going to find Skylar. Huge. Was that two limbs right there? He, yes. he got all his health back yes. and shield. It is the, <laughs> I'm stuttering here. The great range ricochets right off. Maxim gets owned as he eats it. And I, I love the timing. I, I talked about it, but it's when everything starts to get really, really slow. Ooh, if you find another grenade launcher through that tree right as that player lands, that would be ridiculous. You could see what Bass was trying to do was get across with that shadow bomb as he picks up with that heavy air and following up with the drum gun, maybe. You see Thomas jumping up and down using that combat shotgun to try to get him down. Talk about using that shadow bomb. Oh, I love what Bass does right now. Somebody lands on height. Immediately, Thomas starts to fight for it, but then Bass starts to shoot, but they're going to give it up. Now go down. Nice job there. Now taking a look at here, who we have? Jamma and Easy are working their way through the mid ground. Uh, they're not even they're not even a duo together. So there's actually only one duo somewhere on the map right now. Jam Jamu finding that player he talked about. Oh, does get a lot of damage. He brings him down to white. He's going to try to heal right away. Oh, it's this is Adams. Nice reset. And follow up onto easy. Now it's actually a 1v1v1. Four players up. It's all free for all now. As Jamu picks up Yasa. Get At any point here, he could jump down and just go for the pounce, but he does have the health lead. Reckon doesn't have to do it first. And that's exactly all he needs to do is just wait for the peak from Jamu. Jamu had to kind of throw it all out there. Yeah, and not exactly knowing the situation with Rikens. You, you said it, he had to throw it all out there, but looking for the opportunities with that rocket. Just like he talked about, 10 players remaining, eight duos total. I was saying a lot of players now making it 
solos. There's only one duo remaining total. Shinken right on the edge of zone, does find Scully. Who's That's the only duo, that's it. Now it's a solo game as Shinken takes out the one remaining duo player that makes this a, a, a practically a solo game. There goes OSM, goes down to the combat. Combat range is perfect at that medium range too. Shinken's back in the game with all his health, like he never left. Big connection down at the bottom. Talking about how the tactical art wow. is great for follow-up ball. No, Shinken almost makes it there, but item is gonna come in at the perfect moment there. Mongrel. Another 35. Using this, this infantry rifle, one of the things is in duos, you get the opportunities to pick up these weapons that you might not necessarily use in solos. Yep. Micho picking up Ritz there. And, and this is a team that when they have high ground, they literally will take out every single player in the sky because their aim is crazy. It's ridiculous. You could already see Mongrel putting it on display. And Micho taking out Ritz there as well. I mean, Zone six here. This is the first moving zone now. About to start. Tommy goes down there to Mongrel's infantry rifle, showcasing what you can do when you have the god shot like this. And this is second place against third place right there. That was Item and D Rocks again. A nice heavy snipe combination with the infantry rifle. But fearlessly like over peeking here because they just control the space right now. They have every team on the on the defense essentially right now. This is what I'm talking about. As soon as they get high ground, they don't let anybody glide. But regardless, somebody is still gonna take that above them. Not realizing the Riptigos are still in play, but immediately looking back, they get they get in so much space. And now they're gonna take down one, maybe two eliminations because they just not only they get the space, yes, Florex finally goes down. Just back up and look. Just all comes full circle as Mongro is not missing a shot here. It's X Skewer here. Lestuff to Skewer and Skewer at the high ground here. Mongro catches another player. D Rock spams Tommy. So both of the Tommy players now going down to Mongro. I see Drum Gun stuffs that player in the one by one. Mitro building up for the high ground here. And there are six duels left. 11 players remain. So most of these guys are full teams. Yeah, and he realizes there's players down below. That's Prisonero. Nice pick up from Micho, and actually somebody else goes in his box. It's going to be Potato. That's Prisonero's duo. Duo. Right off the bat now, Micho. Ten eliminations. He's unfortunately Fatal stuck. error, fatal error. And this is this is crazy because this uh, is what Micho actually did not qualify with last yes, week. Yes, I was going to say, last week we saw the same thing. Micho accidentally used the Shadow Bomb in the same kind of circumstance. And we talk about Shadow Bomb. He uses that to go down the mountain. Surprise, surprise. Micho connects with another combat shot there. Yeah, and that minigun has so much staying power. You can shoot it forever, but now does get a crack right behind on Mitro. He just take the wall. Is he gonna be able to take any damage more on him? The heavy snipe comes in with the combination with the minigun from the top. Now it's Mitro against Zewer and his mod. Will they be able to take this through? I believe it should be an easy pickup, but it's Mitro. Remember, this is the man of clutches. You have seen him. Fall skirmish, summer skirmish, always making these plays happen. Are you gonna do it right now? Doesn't really have too much to work with. That heavy snipe not reloaded. He's gonna start immediately trying to break, pressure them down, but no, just holding high ground. They're eventually gonna outlast them because he didn't have any materials at all. Yeah, with 300 mediums. Oh, finally, that's gonna be the opportunity. Now Take he that did. time. And the stair, the ramp too. And the combat shotgun follow up. Wakey is gonna go down to Mongrel. Where's Mitro? Oh, did Mitro, Mitro took out his teammate on the other side, so they're just <laughs> uh, the wall taking team right now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in a tough situation here. And and with the Storm favor, though, honestly, this is your time to put that pressure on. So so notice how he is proactively looking for players that have the pressure against them. And like that, Harp, and it's the perfect time to have a suppressed SMG, too, when the opponent is distracted. Lower elevation, good job there, recognizing that he needs to go down. That is good game awareness. He is, of course, eating a lot of Storm here, but it's going to buy him some some more time here to see another day. Can he get this big? Yeah, he, he got to get a ball. Them. So the siphon coming in at the same time for both, but still the pressure coming in. He, everybody knows the situation that he was in. No, finally going to go down. Milan gets the tag there right before he goes down to zone. Doesn't so. matter though. Three points yeah. and to catch a duo team just like that from behind. Ooh, caught some flesh damage there. This is looking like the team that he wants to take out. Yes, it is. As he pushes straight through with the drum, nice. catches the wall. Brazy goes down. That's his Elim. More materials now, allowing him to continue to keep this high ground. Someone tries to land on him, doesn't quite. Now the pressure is back onto him. He really? cannot catch a break here. Somebody lands right in his box, though. Is he going to be able to finish it? Yes, it's Mongro. He goes down there, ways, clutching up against the best of the best. And I think he has height right now. No, one player above him. 
Might be Daner who is still up there. Mongrel obviously has to shadow bomb off of the high ground. He does lose track. It is Diner yeah. who is holding a high ground and still Nork. with Nork, his duo. So, Aquexo. Great so answers right around for high ground, but Diner does land and catch the floor just in time to keep that high ground. And just like that, that's going to conclude that game for you guys. Uh, it kind of, sort of, uh, in in the EU side. So here you are. Uh, no surprise, Chinkin and Stompy up at the top. Mongro and Mitro, another dominant duo. They're going to be sitting at second place there as well. And then, of course, more uh, more faces that we'd recognize here, such as Osmo and Milan. Frexy, Letwick, uh, great players across the board here. No shocker, but 101 points. And Chinkin and Stompy have four games remaining. <laughs> That is absurd, man. That is crazy. Just a monstrous lead indeed coming out of there. And three of the top four already qualified, already qualified, already qualified. Again, it is just Saturday, so the top 3,000 will advance. But the fact that we see such repeated consistency in a game that inherently is RNG based. There is luck. You're going to get different loadouts. There's going to be different rotations. There's going to be different storm zones. The fact that these guys are able to consistently mitigate that 